Hundreds of thousands of students across this country are going to return to the college campus at the beginning of September. But how is that going to look? And will it be the same for every institution? Well, the um, Fianna Fáil TD for Limerick, but the Minister of State at the Department of Higher Education, Niall Collins, is with us here on Lunchtime Live today. Minister, it's obviously all systems go with a minute. Um, will all colleges return on campus this September? Good afternoon, Andrea. Yes, absolutely. That has been our intention for the last number of months. If we just rolled the clock back 12 months ago, we were planning at this point in time last year to try and have um, as much college on-campus in-person activity as possible. We provided a lot of money this time last year, about $167 million to, to the sector to provide for modifications and to prepare for uh, a limited return. But unfortunately, events overtook us, as we know, and we faced into another series of lockdowns. So when we rolled the clock forward to the present day, um, what has changed, obviously, is the highly successful vaccination programme and the uptake in relation to that. So we're in a much better space. But in January of this year, um, within my own Department of Further and Higher Education, we set up a working group which met every Friday with all the stakeholders across the sector, um, the unions, the, the representatives of the universities, the Institutes of Technology, uh, the Technological Universities, the Colleges of Further Education, mm. Solis, um, also with the, the Union Students of Ireland, and uh, had an all-encompassing um, working committee with a view to getting to the point where, where we're at now as we approach September, in that we would have um, pretty much as normal as possible a return to college in person on campus so that everybody can have um, that much wanted college experience which we were missing for the last yeah. 12 months. So we we published our report, our, our plan for a safe return um, in June. Um, we allocated additional monies in July, 105 million euros. And um, the colleges themselves issued a joint statement in early August to say that um, they, they had worked through the plan uh, given uh, the guidance that we had given in it and that they were pretty much in a in a space where we can thankfully um, welcome back and uh, we'll see people back on campus okay. in early September. So that, that normal as possible um, that you mentioned, is there going to be a blanket rule then for every college or third level institution with regards to the likes of social distancing and mask wearing in the lecture hall? No, there isn't because, um, and your, your listeners will know that each college is different. Yeah. Uh, the physical infrastructure is different. Um, the buildings are different, the timetables are different, the numbers are different. So it was general guidance issued, um, which was um, approved and, and vetted by the, the chief medical officer. So it'll depend, um, and our colleges and our, our institutions and our further education facilities, they're all autonomous and they run themselves. We, we, we support them with policy, with guidance and with funding. And uh, they, they then have to implement and run their own affairs. But the, the feedback that I'm getting from from the various colleges, and we've heard from UCD in the in the last um, uh, over the last number of hours, I can tell you, for example, the the University of Limerick are um, holding large scale lectures of up to 300 people. So it, it really depends on uh, how they will then how each college, individual college, will will manage. Um, you know, manage their own mm. timetabling, um, man- manage the flow of people yeah. in and, and out. I think, I think that's, that's you know, p- people will see that because whether you've gone to, you know, UCD or, or, or you know, uh, Galway Mayo Institute or NUI Galway or wherever you've gone to college, obviously the, there's certain lecture halls are, are bigger than others and will be able to accommodate it very differently. But but the union that's representing the lecturers and the college teachers, they're, they're actually the ones looking for this. They want this standardised guidance. So are they not going to get that pre-September? Yeah, so it, it's not it's not possible to, to one size doesn't fit all here. It, it's not possible to give standardised guidance. But suffice to say this, um, the the cohort of um, people attending college uh, pretty much are the eighteen to the twenty nine year old cohort, and there's been an exceptionally high uptake of of um, vaccination fr- from that age cohort, which is great. Um, it'll be by the time college returns in early and middle September there'll be about 95% of that cohort will be vaccinated. And um, we, we are saying that, obviously, indoors, you, you, we're, we're guiding and, and, and the principal say that you have to um, adhere to mask wearing and, and the normal, um, you know, proper etiquette in terms of uh, public health and hygiene. And 
other facilities then obviously around campus um, canteens and bars they operate under the normal public health guidelines that are that are enforced uh, at a given point in time in, in your normal um, restaurants and, and and pubs which which are off campus but we, we, we're we're not going to be denying anybody who has um, who hasn't taken a vaccine? You're not going to be denied access to your, to your educational facilities. So we're we, we we've empowered obviously the institutions, the the, the you know the authorities running each of our colleges. Uh, they will use common sense. They will use the funding that we have given them to provide for modifications in terms of ventilation, CO2 monitoring. Um, a number of the colleges are also participating in um, a, our, our pilot uh, rapid antigen testing. Uh, which has been running over the summer months in some vent in some locations and has been rolled out to about um, nine locations up and down the country for the next number of months, and that will inform the, the study that's going on in relation to antigen testing. But I think in the main, um, Andrea, what 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 we've been hearing, what I've been hearing as as one of the ministers with responsibility for this sector, um, people hugely miss the the on college in person experience and. You know, having having your college, having to attend college, sitting at the corner of your kitchen table, um, a lot a lot of the time with dodgy Wi-Fi, you know, has been hugely frustrating and far from satisfactory. So we have come a long way, and uh, I think it's welcome that uh, pretty much everybody's on the same page here, and we're okay. we're looking forward to the reopening.